Now, yes, Tony had some problems. But Tony did try to reach out. That's why he grabbed a web camera and was not scared to speak. A lot of people use YouTube as a release, as this is where I'm going. A lot of people go play video games because they can't play games in real life. A lot of people go out and do hard head thrill seeking things, you know, uh, the jackass type things to cope with real life. He came on YouTube and expressed his true feelings. See? And then it crossed over into reality. YouTube is a vehicle. If you're not strong enough to understand people's truths or people's sense of reality of what people see, he may have been crazy to some people, and some people may actually thought this man was the most sane thing they've ever heard. See, people fail to realize the power of YouTube. See, it has the power to create, and it has the power to destroy. And as we see, it has the power to make people stars, and it has the power to make people infamous. So, you have to take the good with the bad with YouTube. I'm not condoning any of this man's actions any way whatsoever. And this young lady, man, when I looked at her, I thought she was going to be like the next Jada Pinkett. I'm like, yeah, she, could. she reminded me of young Jada Pinkett. She could have been somebody. She was somebody. She is somebody. And we need to learn not just the lesson from her and from him, but the lesson that we're also teaching people here, too. You can fall into a pattern to where the four best people you like on YouTube are the only people you listen to in life. You can get stuck on their words. But we all must remember their words. And we must always word our wishes correctly. We can talk ourselves into something that we can't get ourselves out of. But in reality, we don't put ourselves in the situation to have to talk ourselves out of a situation that we should have never been placed into in the first place. We don't seek drama. We seek to avoid drama. We seek to avoid stress. We, we fight for human rights. We fight for equal equality. We fight for fair equality. We fight for justice. We fight against injustice. We point out good. We point out bad. We call out the evil. That's what we do on YouTube. I can become a Planet X fanatic. I can become a, what was it, black uh, Muslim Israelite. On YouTube, you can be anything you want to be. But just be real to yourself. What this man was believing to be real was not real. His own feelings twisted against him. And if they said he took pills, maybe the pills did it. We are human beings. We're not meant to be controlled through narcotics. I said it in pills. We know what dope do to sane people. If somebody got a problem, you give them dope. What do you think that's going to do? I think this man probably would have had a better chance of being in some old drug house, right? Getting high and forgetting about life. Right? No. But you give them some drug to suppress themselves. Isn't that what alcohol and cigarettes, video games, and YouTube is for to suppress 
that bad part. I can get on a video game. Saints Row drive over everybody. Anything. Where are those games set at? They set they're set in the hood. The hood mentality. What about the other one? Uh, you know which one I'm talking about. Grand Theft Auto. Set in the seedy underworld. Make your way to the top. These are video games. That man was depressed and killed somebody else in reality. You can die a million times by yourself. And you might go out like a martyr. But whenever you take somebody with you for no apparent reason at all, just remember, if you could take somebody with you on the other side, do you think they're going to want to be with you on the other side? Where's the logic in killing somebody anyway? Where's the logic in watching somebody die? Where in the, where's the logic in killing someone and didn't realize, oh, I killed somebody? Then you have to do yourself. Where's the logic in killing yourself? There is no logic in suicide. It's a drug. It's a drug you don't come back from. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does things they don't want to do. Everyone lies about something or says something that isn't necessarily the truth. Everybody's got some mental hang-up. Everybody's got some vice. Everybody's got problems. But nobody deserves to die for them. A lot of people just say, Suck it up! Be a man! Men cry too. Men need help too. Men need someone to talk to also. Men need an outlet. Men need a hug. Men need positive reinforcement. And when you live in a world where there's no positive reinforcement, everything is like, man, coming down on you, and you already feel down. Men do the honorable thing. Men push it beyond the limits. Men would rather go out than fight on. That is a trained and taught mentality. I am not going out by myself. Even in my older songs, I'd say, I'm not going to take a whole crew with me. Because when you're gone, your life is just like a flea. A speck on this society. Smaller than a molecule. Minuscule. Cannot rule. Why you acting like a fool? Sometimes when you're ahead of yourself, you fall behind. But just remember, if you live to continue to try and you still fail, then you still live to continue to try. And if you find any knowledge in this, take it to heart. 930.